Hello. We're talking hair loss, hats and coverings today. I'm wearing this particular hat. Um, there's a little story behind it. I went out into the garden with my mum and we sat for an hour. And unfortunately, in the evening, my scalp was itchy, quite sore and very irritable. And the reason was that the sun had actually penetrated in between the straw. And although it's quite a thick straw, the sun had actually found its way through. So lesson learned. And I now pop this little covering underneath the hat. So this is my go to shopping hat and it covers my face as well. So it's, it's quite a nice, easy hat to wear. Um, I've also got a cap. This is my husband's golf cap. And I've ordered some smaller ones. Um, and this is the um, the casual look to go to yoga in, to wear with jeans. Still keep the covering because you may have no hair at the back here and it could just get into that sunlight and we don't want it in the sunlight. So keep that covering. And again, um, for those guys out there, keep your head, head covered. Caps are great for guys. And in fact, the guys can really wear some funky head headgear. So this is the uh, really casual daytime look. And then if we're going somewhere special, then we go for what I call the Saint Tropez look. Let's go for it. And we have a nice big sun hat. And then maybe we pop up some shades. So if you're going to a luncheon or a wedding, um, then we pop the shades on and we're off to Saint Tropez. And again, we keep this covering underneath, which is quite handy. So this is your posh. Saint Tropez look. These are all very cheap hats. Get them on eBay, get them on Amazon. Um, now these hats, they come in two parts. So this is the first part and the second part is a little um, brooch at the front. So you just pop that over there and you found the brooch. And then again, I like to keep my ears out a little bit. So these are quite handy for being at home. They're really, really comfortable on the scalp. And again, they're a nice protection. They come in lots of different colors. And, and I've ordered probably most of the colors because I'm gonna be wearing them for my yoga classes. And then I can just change the color for each yoga class. So you know it's a different class. So again, see they're nice and baggy at the top here. And again, this bandana goes at the front. And again, I like to keep it quite low, keep the ears out and keep this quite high. You can also have it on the side as well if you want to, but I prefer it at the top. So really nice and comfy, keeps you nice protected and keep that sensitive scalp covered. You can also um, have some nice scarves. Scarves are always nice because if you feel a bit naked on the head, some nice big scarves around the neck. So these are really quite yoga. You can have them in all different ways. So they're also, you can cross them over and then have them in all sorts of different ways. You just take them up and really funk your look up. So if it's a bit cold out there, you just funk the look up. And you can wear the, the, um, the scarf on its own and just be really, comfortable with that because you've got something around your neck I don't think you feel so naked on the head so if you want to go naked on the head then maybe put something nice and big around the neck and it feels a little bit more dressed for you um, these are cotton and again they're great great uh, scarves you can also wear them as a head covering so folding them long ways pop it over your head and then as if you're in the shower, you just swivel them around. And it's sort of Afri African Caribbean look. And then you can just pop that in. And you can have them hanging down here if you want to. Of course, you could always wear great big earrings with all, any of these hats. Um, I'm not an earring person, but you could wear nice big earrings. And the other thing um, I think you may need to be aware of is that you need to do something about eyebrows because your eyebrows frame your face. So it's you can get lots of little eyebrow kits where you can just 
paint your eyebrows in if they've disappeared a little bit. In fact, I should have had the eyebrow kit prior to chemo because I'm not a makeup person, but um, since I have no hair now, I have tried to be a bit more attentive to my makeup. And having some nice eyebrows, just just take it easy, get your right colouring, and just, just frames the face a little bit. So those are my tips for today. Um, experiment, there's lots of things you can do. The main thing you want to be is covered if you're out in that daylight. The other thing you want to be is comfortable. Um, if we're comfortable, we feel confident and we can go out into that world and enjoy our lives. Thank you for joining me. Good luck experimenting. Namaste.